salvation. It is the helmet of salvation. And what that means is we are saved through Jesus Christ. We are saved by His death, burial, and resurrection. We're saved by grace through faith. And if you believe in Jesus, if you've accepted Him as your Lord and Savior, you have put on your head the helmet of salvation. Now, where did Noah go? <laughs> Come on, Noah. Come on out, Noah. All right, I thought you left us. Come over here, Noah. Each week, stand over here. We have been introducing a different piece of the armor of God. So we started with the shield of faith. And what Ephesians 6 says is that when the devil shoots his flaming arrows at you, you can block them with the shield of faith. Faith is a shield. If you have faith in Jesus, you will overcome the devil. And even though he attacks you, even though he lies to you, even though he tries to deceive you, even though he tempts you, you can block those attacks, those flaming arrows, with the shield of faith. Then the following week, we talked about the sword of the Spirit. What is the sword of the Spirit? It's the Word of God. The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. When Jesus was tempted in Matthew chapter 4, the devil tempted him three times. And each time Jesus responded with this phrase, It is written. And then he quoted Scripture. It is written. And then he quoted Scripture. And that's how Jesus overcame the devil. And that's why it's so important for these kids to know the word, word of God. If these kids have the Word of God instilled in their hearts and their minds, when Satan tries to attack them, the kids will be able to respond with Scripture. That's how you overcome the devil, with the sword of the Spirit. Now last week we talked about the breastplate of righteousness. We're on a little budget, folks. <laughs> the breastplate of righteousness. Now, we are made righteous by the blood of Jesus. I'm not talking about your righteousness or my righteousness because the Bible says there's none righteous. Romans chapter 3 verse 10 says there's none righteous. And if we're honest, we'll admit I'm a sinner. I'm not righteous. I'm sinned. How can I claim to be righteous? But the Bible talks about the breastplate of righteousness because this is the righteousness of Jesus. And it's imputed to you. When you believe in Jesus, His blood cleanses you of all unrighteousness. So even the devil, when the devil tries to tempt you, when he lies to you, when he accuses you, he can't penetrate that breastplate of righteousness because the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus cleanses you and washes you so that you are clean before God. And the devil cannot make you guilty. He cannot make you guilty. He cannot penetrate that breastplate. Of righteousness. Well, today we talk about, again, what a low budget, folks. <laughs> the helmet of salvation. Now, this is Resurrection Sunday. <laughs> this is Resurrection Sunday. And this helmet is all about the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. It is the helmet of salvation. We are saved because we believe in Jesus. We are saved because Jesus died on the cross. And God raised him from the dead. The helmet of salvation is about the resurrection. Because if Jesus hadn't raised, risen from the dead, Paul says, you would still be in your sins. You would still be guilty of sin before God. It's only because Jesus rose up from that grave that you are forgiven and justified and stand before God, cleansed and righteous in His presence. The helmet of salvation is about faith in the death of burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now here's the neat thing. With this armor, how's the devil going to attack you? If he comes at you and tempts you, you have the sword of the Spirit. If he shoots a flaming arrow at you, you have the shield of faith. He can't penetrate the breastplate of righteousness. We're saved and we're victorious through Jesus. When Jesus rose from the dead, He conquered Satan. He defeated Satan. And Satan is a defeated enemy. And He knows it. Now, he's still dangerous because he works in sinister ways. And here's the point. The devil won't launch a frontal assault. You're too powerful with his, not you, but through God's armor. You are powerful to defend yourself through the armor of God, through faith, through the word of God, through righteousness. He won't launch a frontal assault. The devil is a coward. He's a coward. 
He won't attack you from the front. He's going to attack you when you're not paying attention. He's going to attack you when you're not, no, when not, when you're not aware of what's going on around you. And He'll place His angels. The Bible says the devil was cast out of heaven with angels. Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. He wasn't cast out of heaven alone. He was cast out of heaven with angels. In the Bible, they're also called demons. But the devil is going to sneak up behind you and try and attack you that way. Whoa! That's not too bad for a fellow like this. Now we all know that this boy's hard headed. <laughs> now he has the helmet of salvation. Seriously. Now we do this to make it fun. So the little kids will listen, but I know that the bigger kids also listen better when we do this. The helmet of salvation is through the blood of Jesus, through the death of Jesus, through the resurrection of Jesus. When you accept Jesus as your Savior, when you receive salvation, you have the helmet of salvation. And even though the devil lays some type of ambush and tries to assault you from behind, you are more than a conqueror through Jesus because you have the helmet of salvation. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, if we confess with our lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Lift up that sword. Shout a victory, Chad. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> Thank you, please, but you can do it.